Good morning everybody, Tess Crawley here, Clinical and Forensic Psychologist and Director of Dr. Tess Crawley and Associates. Um, I've been trying to get this live stream happening for a little while now and couldn't quite get the lighting right because I'm actually outside, I'm down at uh, Nutgrove Beach in Sandy Bay this morning waiting for an appointment with my GP. Um, so today I wanted to talk very quickly about gratitude. Gratitude is probably something that you've heard a lot about. Um, people talk about having a daily gratitude practice and um, <clears throat> for some people that's a little bit of a slap in the face I find. Um, I've often had clients say to me, you know, I've got no reason to be depressed, I've got so much to be grateful for, what's wrong with me, why can't I just be happy? So I thought it was probably appropriate to have a little chat about um, about what we're talking about when we're talking about gratitude and gratitude practice and also how it how you do it and what what the benefits are. So I'm just sharing this quickly into our Stigma Rebellion page. So bear with me while I just do that for a split second. And there we go, we're away. And I was looking, having a little look this morning and I found an article um, that was published in Psychology Today. And um, once we're done today, I'll post the link down below so that you can have a read of that too, if you like. Um, Gratitude, when we're talking about gratitude, we're not talking about, oh, you should feel happy with your lot. We're talking about a, a deliberate, almost mindful action to spend deliberate time thinking about something that made you feel good today. Um, and in your life in general, of course, as well. You can see what I'm saying about this light. I'm trying to, I don't want to fall off my park bench. <laughs> um, so, um, when we're talking about gratitude, so for example, um, my husband helped me get out the door early this morning so that I could get to a GP appointment before heading into work. I got here early enough that I could actually get my vlog done for you this morning as well, which means my day will start off on a really organized footing. So I'm really grateful that he was available to help get the kids off to school so that I could get out the door. Um, some mornings he has to work, start early and some mornings I have to start early. So yeah, I'm quite grateful that our diaries meshed this morning and it could all work well. Um, with a gratitude, sometimes of course it is about saying thank you to people. It is about stopping and thinking and saying, okay, this person has done something really nice for me, or I just really appreciate having this person in my life. Um, I was listening to something recently that talked about being a fan, being a fan of people. Taking time out of your day or your week or your month, writing a little thank you note to somebody for something that they've done, or having a phone call with somebody that you really appreciate and want to you know, develop that friendship a bit more or that, that family relationship a bit more. Um, even even um, you know, recording a video message and sending it to somebody, telling them just how much you, they mean to you and telling them how much you appreciate what they do for you in your life. So taking that time out being aware of uh, the role that um, positive influences are having on your day and just reflecting on that in a deliberate fashion. So that's what we're talking about when we're talking about gratitude. We're not talking about, you know, get over yourself, you've got lots to be grateful for. That's a completely different issue. That's a really hard um, pull yourself up by your bootstraps kind of attitude that I don't endorse at all, by the way. If you're anything like me, in brackets stubborn um, being told to practice gratitude might great so for me somebody tells me you know why don't you go and practice some gratitude I'm like you know what I don't want to I don't want to do that I don't want to think about that however um, putting my stubborn not being told what to do boots aside for a minute um, I've actually been doing a little bit of reading as I said about what the actual benefits are of doing some daily if you can gratitude practice so for example if you're having a really crappy day taking some time out again sit outside in the sunshine with your cup of tea and have a think about what went well for you today or have a think about if today was a complete 
atrocious mess for you, have a think about something that you really appreciate. It could just be my apple tree in my front yard has started to bloom, the blossoms are beautiful, it's full of bees, you know, and I love that. So that might be it for me today, you know, looking at that, spending some time reflecting on just how much I appreciate having that apple tree in my yard and the, the joy that I get out of watching the bees buzzing around and the beautiful blossoms. Um, what does that do for me? It lifts me out of being stuck in those negative thoughts I have, might have had about having had a tough day. Okay, so, so emotionally, taking some time to practice some gratitude can lift you out of one mood and put you in a more positive, reflective mood, or you know, perhaps even even out the balance a little bit. So that's number one. As I said before, about being a fan and expressing gratitude and thanks to those in your life who do great things for you, or even just do simple things that help your day, can strengthen those relationships. So by incorporating some gratitude practice in your day and applying that to those around you that mean something to you, can really nurture and strengthen those relationships, which in turn, of course, has positive benefits to you from a social well-being perspective. Okay. Um, psychological well-being there's some thought that a gratitude practice will benefit physically because you're focusing more on um, those positive elements and those positive frames of mind as opposed to for example someone who might have some pain experience if we sit and focus on our pain we're going to perceive that pain more loudly whereas if we're sitting and reflecting on our gratitude practice it's going to take us away from the intensity of that pain and if we're lucky it might even take us fully away from that experience of pain even for a little while um, there's some thought that keeping a gratitude journal at the end of the day um, can help with sleep why do you think that might be Number one, it's taking you away from devices before bed. Number two, it's quietening you down. And number three, as I said before, it's putting you in a positive, reflective state of mind before you go off to sleep. So instead of going to bed with your head full of the things that didn't go right today or the things that you're worried about for tomorrow, you're going to bed with a positive frame of mind and more relaxed state of mind, so more likely to drift off to sleep. Okay, so that's, that's actually probably a pretty good one too. Um, in this article I'm looking at also mentions self-esteem, thinking about the things that are going well in your life of course is going to help you feel a little bit better about yourself and getting in the habit of reflecting on that daily. Thinking about what you are grateful for about yourself is actually a really valid and important part of this process. So I'm grateful for the fact that you know I have a good mind, a good education, and that I took the time out of my life as an adult. I went to university a bit later than most people to study psychology. I'm grateful for the fact that I did that and I'm grateful for the fact that I had the tenacity to see it through because it's a long road to becoming a psychologist. Um, so taking the time out of your day to reflect on what you're doing well, to reflect on the things that you like about yourself, even if you're stuck in a low self-esteem state of mind, it might take a little bit more deliberate action to find something that you like about yourself, but try doing it anyway because it is actually really good for you to do that. Okay, so there's a couple of other bits and pieces in this particular article and there's lots of information on the internet that you can find about gratitude. Um, gratitude a lot, is a lot like um, a, mini, a mini meditation, a mini mindfulness activity. It is about taking deliberate action and sitting and, and reflecting on the positive elements of your life and being aware of those positive elements and expressing in some way some gratitude for that. So whether it's journaling every day in a diary, whether it's writing a thank you card or, a, or a, um, an I appreciate you a video message to a friend, uh, whatever it is that you're doing with regards to my um, gratitude, it's, um, it's, it's quietening your mind, it's giving you that stillness in your day to reflect. It only takes a couple of minutes and you're done. And if you get in the habit of doing that most days, then you'll, I bet you'll find some positive benefits for you. That's it for me. I always feel that I need to be five minutes early to my GP appointments, even though they um, are never five minutes early for me. Um, so I will rush off and get ready for that. Hope you're having a fabulous day today. It's Friday, um, sun is shining, and it's a fabulous weekend ahead for all of you, I am hoping. So have a great day today. Take care of yourselves. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye for now.